Hey, what is up you guys? How are you? I know I look different. I um I cut my bang I just like I cut some bangs. It happened. It may look like I have a mullet. I don't know. I'm just living my life. Whatever. Anyway, so today we are going to review our first geek gear box. So you'll remember from my Ipsy June unbagging that we did some unboxing of past collectibles from Geek Gear Box. Um, but now we have our box, so I, it's time to unbox it. I think this is June's box? I don't know. It takes things forever to get here, so I don't know what month this is. Okay, so here is our box. It has a little handmade with love right here, which I absolutely love. I think that is so adorable. So let's open it up. Here is the inside. So we've got some like confetti things and whatnot. So the first thing I see is a shirt. So let's go ahead. I have nowhere to set this. Stay. Let's go ahead and look at our shirt. Oh, it's got little stringies are falling out everywhere. Miraculous. Okay. Uh, so we've got a little pocket design here and it says lost one earring with beetle wings, pair of stripy socks, school cloak, purple quill. So there, and you can see that it's got the uh, quibbler glasses and like all her little trinkets. So obviously it is Luna based. I think this is really cute. This is a size medium, which it looks perfect. So thumbs up for that. Next, it looks like we have a little mirror of Erised. I actually do already have uh, a little mirror of Erised. Oh, but this one has like a, hmm, has like a st stand, kickstand is what I'm thinking. So there it is, very cute, very nice. It has the little engraving up at the top. <laughs> oh, there you can just, there you can see you, yourself. There you go, guys. Look how beautiful you are. But yes, this is really cool. Um, it's gonna be, I'm just gonna like set it somewhere. Oh, I can put it in my little Harry Potter bathroom. Yes, perfect. All right, thumbs up. Next we have a, oh, stringies again falling out everywhere. We have a tube. So this must be our print maybe that you're supposed to get every month. Oh, I can't even get it out. Let's, there it is. Whoop. I'm gonna keep that too with me. Okay, so here it is. We have, oh, we've got Voldemort with Nagini. I really like this. I think this looks really cool. I will definitely be framing it and putting it somewhere in my house. Um, next up, we have, let's see. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be something Umbridge themed. And we have a cat plate. So, here we are, here it is. Now I do have um, a set of four ca uh, cat plates from a loot crate uh, once upon a time ago. So this will be a nice little addition. I have them on the wall. I don't know if I have exactly this one, but I really like this one. So it will definitely go with my set. You gotta get past all the little green beans. All right, what is this? Geek Gear Scratch Card. Scratch and win. Oh, so we need to scratch that off. Do I have anything? I don't have any coins. <laughs> I'll have uh, Paul bring us a penny so that we can scratch this. Okay, next in this box, we have, what is this? Is this like a little charm or something? It's a little feather a piece of cardboard in there. Let's see. Does it say anything? Oh my god, green beans are going everywhere. Okay, we have a pin and it says constant vigilance. So there you go. And it's an eye. It's got an eyeball. It's 
real creepy. I really like it. I have um, a shadow box of Harry Potter pins, so that will go in there. Looks like we have a little pamphlet in here. Uh, it says, a massive thank you from all of us at Geek Gear for subscribing to the Geek Gear Wizardry Box. We hope that you enjoy every single item that we have carefully packed into your box this month and you, that you continue your subscription and remain to be a valued customer of the ever-growing Geek Gear com community. May 2020. Okay, so this was the May 20. <laughs> That's how long it's taken me to get here. Whew. All right, May 2020. Uh, exclusive Luna Pocket Lost and Found t-shirt. Exclusive Umbridge cat plate replica. Exclusive Mirror of Erised replica. Lord Voldemort community artist artwork. This stunning artwork is brought to you by Milton Castro. Show Milton some love on Instagram at Milton Raphael Castro. I'll show you that right there. Go ahead, hop on over there, look at some of his artwork. Um, exclusive Polyjuice Potion Recipe Page Replica. Exclusive Mad-Eye Moody Pin. Oh, it's Mad-Eye Moody. Got it now. Okay. Exclusive Monthly Collectible Charms. Feather Charms. No, this is the Feather Charms. So it's the... Hi, we have a penny! Thank you, Paul. A penny. Thank you. We have a penny, you guys. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get this out of the bottom. Oh god, green beans! Okay. So here it is. Yeah, I didn't get this out of the bottom of the box. So this is a Polyjuice Potion Recipe Page Replica. It's on some really nice cardstock. It looks like it got a little bit of a crumple right here. So that's a little sad, but hopefully it will straighten out once it's in a frame. It says the Polyjuice Potion. Properly... I'm sorry. Let me just... <clears throat> properly blue properly brewed the polyjuice potions allow the drinker to transform himself temporarily into the physical form of another fill a fortified leaded cauldron with the following ingredients 12 lacewing flies one ounce of crude antimony <clears throat> four leeches unsucculated 16 scruples of fluxweed three drams of pulverized sal ammoniac not grass blades pulverized one pinch of powdered horn on bicorn lunar extracting filings and rasplings of salpeter mercury and mars shredded skin of boom slang desiccated extra ugh, extract of the transfigured being to be harvest the flux weed at the full moon and soak in urine add the lacewing flies by dram <laughs> Drachum? I'm sorry. I don't know what that word is. I, I just want to say dram. Uh, and the knot grass. Stir in the boom slang. Add salpeter to the cauldron to taste potion. We'll have a mercury texture. Add leeches and stew for 21 days. Add all the remaining ingredients except the extract. So there it is. It looks really really cool i actually really like this i will definitely be framing this so every month you get a charm so i guess we will have to get something to put our charms on and add them to with our box every month so that's really fun now that we have our penny let's go ahead and do this geek gear scratch card okay it says no win better luck next time so there we go we didn't win that's all right i still think that everything we got in this box is really fun and really nice um definitely worth the money definitely better than loot crate <laughs> um i think that this is really cool it's really gonna add to the collection now you may not see some of this stuff <laughs> behind me because i'm definitely gonna use some of this stuff around my house um, especially this. I think this is so cool. All right, you guys. Well, um, I guess that is the end of that. Let's go ahead and open up our little mystery pack out of my box of prizes. So, let's look. All right, we have another Smisky. Oop. Go ahead and open him up. He's the Bath Series Smisky. He's called Smisky Not Looking. 
So, uh, you apparently are on the, the toilet and he's, uh, not looking. So very nice. Very exciting. Well, you guys, what did you think of this box? Do you think it was worth it? Do you think things could have been better? Um, I will definitely link the company down below if you choose yourself to subscribe to this. I will definitely be staying with my subscription and unboxing these in the future. Now, a little about the company is that they have like an ultimate wizardry box. So again, um, like I said before, they don't just have the one wizardry box. They actually have several, di several different boxes. So they have the Geek Gear Wizardry Wands box, which is where you get one handcrafted wand every month. Um, so the Geek Gear Wizardry Wands box starts at £14.99 a month. Is that how you say pounds? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Um, then there's the Geek Gear Wizardry box, which is what we received, and it is $24.99, and it is one awesome t-shirt, one exclusive print, four other amazing products, and it says it has a promised value of over 50 pounds. So, I think it was worth it. I think all we got was pretty, uh, nice in quality. Uh, they have Geek Gear Classic, which is... Uh, just packed full of awesome licensed and exclusive merchandise ranging from up-to-date releases to old classics and retro gaming. Retro gaming. Our box will always be there too. Wow. Uh, you always get a t-shirt, a print, and four other products. Again, promise value all over 50 pounds per box. Then they have the Geek Gear Wizardry wearable box, which is two awesome t-shirts, a jumper hoodie or a long sleeve t-shirt, and one to two jewelry, scarves, hats, and more with a promised value of over 45 pounds per box. And that starts at 24.99 pounds. Um, then you have the Geek Gear Wizardry Special Edition. It says, our special edition boxes are there to wow our amazing subscribers filled with awesome licensed and exclusive premium Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast merchandise. You were always promised the following. An exclusive t-shirt, an exclusive jumper hoodie or long sleeve t-shirt, a exclusive premium artwork, and three other premium products with a promised value all over 80 pounds per box. That one is 44.99 pounds a month. So I guess we could try one of the other ones if you guys wanted to try it. Um, just let me know down below what box you would like to see. Uh, again, there's the wands, the wizardry, the classic, the wizardry wearable, and then the wizardry special edition. So if y'all would like to see any of those other boxes, please let me know and I'll be sure to get on that. Um, but I'm really happy with all we got today. I think that everything is pretty quality. I love the little handmade with love on the box. Um, now something that Loot Crate did that I think that they could implement maybe is that Loot Crate would sometimes make their boxes transform into things and like give them more purpose. Um, so you didn't just throw them away. But other than that, like, I mean, this is really nice. I really love everything that we got. Um, this is going to be really nice to add to the ones that I have in the Mirror of Era said. Like, I like that this one has a stand. I'm pretty sure mine doesn't have a stand. So, what did you guys think? Comment down below. Please be sure to smash that like button if you liked this video. And be sure to subscribe if you like me. And be sure to click that bell icon so you get notified when I post. I try to post every Sunday, but if life gets in the way. It's definitely up by Monday or Tuesday. So yeah, also be sure to follow me on Instagram at countrycat186. Also, you can follow me on Twitch at countrycat186. I haven't streamed in a while because I'm not sure what's going on with Twitch, but like maybe I'll be back. You never know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm up to like 20 subscribers now and that's like crazy to me, but like that is awesome. Thank you all you 20 people. I love y'all and I will see y'all next time. Love you. Bye.